If you're using Playwright for end-to-end -end testing or production monitoring, you probably know this problem. You have a fairly simple user flow like this one. I have here a sign up button and when I click it, I want to see this message, thank you for signing up. This is fairly simple, isn't it? But when I now create a Playwright test for it, like this one, we're navigating to my demo app, we're clicking sign up and then we expect thank you to be visible on the page and we run this test multiple times with the repeat each flag so that we can really check that this test case isn't flaky, we will discover that it's not always passing. So what's up? My little demo application here comes with a very common UI interaction and you've seen it there already. Whenever I refresh the page, there's always a chance that this model is just pushing up front and is telling us to subscribe. Sometimes it will be there, sometimes it won't. And whenever this model is standing in the way, Playwright, of course, cannot click this button. So how could you write your end-to-end -end test when your site also includes cookie banners, newsletter signups, or other unpredictable UI elements that could show up at any time? For unpredictable and unexpected overlays, we can use a Playwright function that is available since Playwright 142, and it's called Add Locator Handler. And this Playwright method accepts two arguments. The first one is a locator, and then we have here an async function, a handler. So what's going on? After you register a locator handler, you pretty much change the Playwright default behavior. Whenever now Playwright performs an action like click or a web first assertion like to be visible, Playwright will check first if there's an element matching your locator that is currently visible and potentially blocking the way. And if there is one, it will call this function and wait for this element here to disappear again. This means now that we can go into our handler and we can say that whenever there's an element with the text subscribe on the page, we want to click the button, no thanks. And then after subscribe is gone again and invisible, then the action or the assertion will be executed. In our case, this now means that we can go back to the terminal and we can rerun our test case 10 times and all the test cases should now be passing because Playwright is able to close all these modal dialogues by itself. And indeed, it does. I think that's pretty sweet. And that's our Playwright quick tip for today. If you have any questions or comments, drop them below and I will see you here for the next one.